Hi guys, welcome to CA in the MCQs of standard costing. I'm trying to crack the logic of every MCQ for you all. Be there with me in uh, this entire journey. On YouTube, playlist is there for each and every chapter. Apart from that, on a Telegram ID that you all can see in the description below, we give you the description, uh, we give you the updates for costing and for FM of CA Inter and for CA Final SCMP. So let's see, uh, let's start and see what is the MCQ there for us today. Overhead cost variance is okay. So bring out the four options. A the difference between overheads recovered means absorbed on actual output minus actual overheads incurred. Now, when I read part A, I try to be thinking when they are asking me overhead cost variance, it must be fixed overheads cost variance because the recovered word has come. Recovered means absorbed. Okay. So it must be fixed overheads cost variances. Fixed overheads cost variance means the first variance of fixed overheads. Keep on thinking how is the first variance calculated? Okay. So that's A for you. B. The difference between budgeted overhead cost and actual overhead cost. C. Obtained by multiplying standard overhead absorption rate. Again, absorption rate has come, which is only applicable to fixed overheads. Okay. With the difference between standard hours for actual output and actual hours worked. Okay. C. And then lastly, D. Think of the correct answer and also think that whichever is the wrong answer, why they are the wrong answer and what do they represent. Okay. Think. Pause the video at this stage. Think, come in the correct answer. Okay, so your time is over. Your first variance is total overhead cost variance or total fixed overhead cost variance. It is nothing but under or over absorption. How do you arrive at under or over absorption? We take actual output, we multiply it by absorption rate to arrive at absorbed amount. And then we subtract actual amount from there. So therefore absorbed amount minus actual amount will give you under or over absorption. That's precisely your first variance. And that is the thing that is mentioned in A, the difference between overheads recovered on actual output minus actual overheads incurred. By the way, what does B represent? The difference between budgeted overhead cost and actual Overhead cost. I think that represents fixed overheads expenditure variance as a difference between budgeted fixed overheads and actual fixed overheads. So that is B for you. C is what? Overheads uh, obtained by multiplying standard overhead absorption rate by difference between standard hours for actual output and actual hours work. Now, if you ever think like this, how many hours actual output should have taken means standard hours for actual output minus how many hours did it actually take? That means actual hours for actual output. Okay, take that difference and multiply it by absorption rate. You will arrive at fixed overheads efficiency variance. So part B is fixed overheads expenditure variance. Part C is fixed overheads efficiency variance. So answer should be part A. A is the correct answer. Yeah, that's your one.